hey guys today we will discuss about ecg now ecg is important topic for cardiovascular system and it is asked in neat mds exam so we will not go into deeper aspect that how ecg is taken and what are different leads and what is the mechanism of ecg we will just we will just focus on important facts which are asked so this is diagrammatic representation of heart different chamber and this is normal ecg normal electrocardiogram which represents electrical activity of our heart these are different waves and this is baseline so this is p q r s and t wave now we will study one by one their importance so first is p wave p wave represents electrical activity starting from sa node that is pacemaker of heart it was asked in aims 2090 the 19 the pacemaker of heart is sa node so electrical activity from sa node to av node is represented by our p wave it is atrial depolarization so then the all the activity electrical activity is concentrated at this av node atrioventricular node now after the after reaching this av node the electrical activity has a little lag that is of point 1 second there is a lag of electrical activity so this is represented by our pr interval it should be always less than 0.2 second of pr interval if pr interval is more than 0.2 second we have a problem so diagnostically pr interval is important here and if the length of pr interval is is more than 0.2 second then we have av block because there is delay of at av node of 0.1 second but if it is more than 0.2 second then the conduction of the heart the electrical activity is slowing very much at av node and it is called as heart block so there are different type of heart block first degree second degree and third degree in first degree heart block we have length of more than 0.2 second so this is ecg of first degree heart block we can see that pr interval is constant and it is of more than 0.2 second of pr interval so this is type 1 degree 1 then we had degree 2 heart block second degree heart block is having two types of heart block that is type 1 and type 2 type 1 is also called as bobitz heart block or venky beck heart block this is venky beck heart block we can see that there is progressive lengthening of qrs interval and then there is a sudden drop of qrs complex that is a dropped beat after that we have type 2 heart block that is mobitz type 2 so second degree mobitz type 2 is like this now it is similar to type 1 or first degree heart block except there is a drop of qrs complex and this is characteristic of second degree heart block in third degree heart block there is no connection between atria and ventricular activity so the atria depolarized by its own and ventricle depolarized by its own so there is complete heart block there is no any relation between atria and ventricle so if we can compare the third degree heart block with other heart block we can see that the relation between p to p and r to r interval is not there and there is constant p to p and r to r interval but they are independently occurring in each, in the diagram then this is our qrs complex in qrs complex there is depolarization of ventricle all the musculature of ventricle goes into depolarization so it is ventricular depolarization now we do not have any wave for atrial repolarization because ventricular depolarization that is qrs complex hides the atrial repolarization after qrs complex we have this 
ST segment which starts from ending of S and starting of T. So this segment is important in, point in diagnosis of different cardiac conditions because the normal ECG has isoelectric ST segment. If we have ST depression that is the ST segment is lower than it should be like this. Then we have angina. Angina is characterized by ST depression. Second condition is that ST elevation. We have seen that ST elevation is one of the most important diagnostic feature of myocardial infarction. So acute myocardial infarction has ST elevation like this and then there is T inversion that is inverted T wave instead of normal T wave we have inverted T wave and it is characteristic of myocardial infarction especially acute case of myocardial infarction or new case of myocardial infarction it is called as ST elevated myocardial infarction SEMI then we have the deep Q wave we have discussed Q wave here but deep Q wave represents a unique case that is old myocardial infarction when we have like this Q wave if we find such Q wave we can see that it is a co old myocardial infarction case after that we have this QT interval now QT interval is from starting of Q wave to end of T wave QT interval is related to calcium level if the calcium level is higher in body that is hypercalcemia is there we have a shorter QT interval so QT interval is related to calcium level in the blood similarly if we have hypocalcemia the QT interval will be longer then we have T wave uh, T wave represents our ventricular repolarization as the electrical activity of depolarization in the ventricular musculature is over the ventricle goes to repolarization and this is represented by T wave we have discussed that there is no wave for atrial repolarization because QRS complex hides the wave for atrial repolarization so ventricular repolarization here we have a unique feature of ventricular repolarization if we study electrical activity of heart of intact patient that is specifically ventricular repolarization this is if the this is our wall of heart and if we study direction of ventricular repolarization in intact heart inside the patient's heart it is from outside to inside that is the direction of ventricular repolarization is from epicardium to endocardium but if we study an isolated heart that is heart taken out of a body or from cadaver the scenario changes significantly because in isolated heart the direction of ventricular repolarization is from inside to outside that is from endocardium to epicardium like this so this is a characteristic uh, unique feature of direction of ventricular repolarization T wave is also related to level of potassium in our blood if the potassium is high that is there is hyperkalemia then we have tall T wave like this and if we have hypokalemia that is lower potassium level inside our blood we will have a short T wave the height of T wave will be lesser like this we may also have a U wave which is new type of wave it is specifically seen in case of hypokalemia 
Okay, so these were some important facts related to ECGs which are asked in exam and in NEET MDS. So this should be taken into consideration. Last we have an excess of heart that is electrical activity goes in normal axis. It is from minus 30 to plus 110 degree. Thank you.